Hello, it's only from Rensburg, and today I want to show you how I transform this um, into a better looking board. This is a, a Lazy Susan that uh, a few years ago when I did pouring, I uh, poured on top of that, but I didn't use it because I didn't like it. So I've taken a piece of sandpaper and I've sanded it off. And I'm going to give it a coat of gesso and then I'm going to start doing something on top of that. So, um, I'm just going to speed this up so that you don't need to take too much time to watch this. There's a little bit of water in my brush. Now the silicone that maybe was in here is starting to repel the gesso. So, I will just give it a second coat. Okay, um, this is dry now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to much potch this onto this Lazy Susan and then I want to take one of these peacocks and put it in the middle and then I'm thinking about a border, I'm not sure yet, I will maybe change as I go along of oh, this um, lustrous pearl finish for the South Africans if you want to know where I bought this. I will uh, just ask me in the comments. So I'm going to put this down here and then I'm going to put a border around here and then I'm th thinking about a border around the peacock with this. I'm not sure yet as I said and then I want to put a little bit of a gold trimming around here. But uh, I can maybe change my mind. I usually change my mind. I don't I start with the thing and then I just go in the other direction but I'm going to start to um, much potch this black one and then it can dry and um, oh, sorry I just want to get my much potch out here I put it in a plastic bag because it gets so hot here in South Africa and it dries out so quickly Okay, so you can you can um, let me just make sure I've got much pot here. Yeah. You can just put a generous amount on there. I'm gonna start I think on this side. I'm gonna lay it down and then I'll uh, just go over this. Okay, this is turning around the in a, in a round now, so I'll just have to pin it down somehow. I'm just working from the inside to the outside because as these get wet they tend to stretch a little bit I'm not too worried this may be a a pleat or something because it will as it dry it will dry flat I'm thinking about using this at my coffee station so I'm probably going to uh, uh, put a glass on top of this okay. 
Now I'm this far, now I just need to make sure I've got much Podge everywhere. Because I don't want this to lift up or off, you must just make sure you're not pressing too hard because if you go around the second time on top of your serviette you can easily tear not going to worry there because I'm just going to take that off when it's dried Okay, I think that's enough for now. So uh, there's a here. Just make sure that certain you don't lose a brush here. I need to throw this out if it makes if it does that. Uh, yeah, just make sure it's flattened everywhere. You don't have a loose hair or something drying on there because it's going to give you lot of trouble so as soon as this is dried I'll come back and I'm gonna glue my pe peacock on top of this okay I'm gonna put this now with a much much patch Again, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not going to measure it out and make it too complicated for myself. Um, usually I tear my service uh, not to make a hard line like this, but I'm thinking I'm going to put a, a border around the peacock. So I'm just going to try it like this and see what, what comes out. Um, the other thing is you must remember to take all the layers off the serviette. Uh, they, some of them are two ply, some of them are three ply. You must really check that. Make sure you take out all the layers that you only use the, the top one. You can see it broke there when I lifted it. That's why I said you must be very careful when you glue these things down and go over them again. Some of the serviettes are um, thinner, more absorbent than others. Okay, now this just needs to dry. And then I think I'm going to put a um, a gold border, maybe I'm going to use one of these, I'm not sure yet. A gold border around this and something here, I'm not sure yet. But uh, anyways, this can dry now and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, I just eyeballed roughly a border around here. I want to put a little bit of white paint in there. Uh, if I maybe done this... If I do this again, I will I will take away the the black serviette at the back because um, I thought it would shine through, but I didn't realize it was going to shine through like that. So it's a little bit too much for me. I would have preferred to have a good be more visible, but uh, now I'm this far, so I'm just going to quickly put a little bit of white paint on because I want to put a pastely mint green or something on here and I don't want the black to shine through too much and then I'm going to do a gold border onto the that green that's there at the back uh, I'll look for a color that's almost that uh, same exact um, tone and uh, yeah so you can just uh, watch me paint the white and then I'm going to paint the green or the mint or the blue I will just see what I have and uh, then I'm going to do the gold border. 
Okay, as you can see, I've got this um, pearly, it's almost a minty, I don't know how to describe this color. It's like a malachite, but with a pearly version. You can see it's got this pearly effect in. So I'm going to use this to uh, make the border. If it's too light, I will go over that with another color. I haven't used this before, I just um, uh, received it recently. So I'm just going to quickly go around my white border. My bit will need two coats, as I said I haven't used this before, so we will see what's what will come out here. While I'm going to blow it a little bit, I'm going to go onto my tape as well because I'm scared it's going to take off my serviette. So I'm just going to quickly go around and remove the tape as well. It actually works a lot better if you heat up your tape a little bit. Just be careful, this thing is very hot. Okay, there you go. There you can see I've got my my border. I hope you can see there. Um, now I, I need to decide what I'm going to do around this. This is slightly wet still. I'm just going to give it a second to dry. And then I'll do my stenciling and then I'll decide what I'm going to do here. Okay, I actually, actually decided to uh, use this um, darker malachite, Malach I don't know how you pronounce that, um, malachite or malachite or what, I don't know, <laughs> that sounds terrible. I don't know if it's going to work, so I'm going to try and um, stencil this darker one on top. If it doesn't work, I will just go back and and change it again. So I'm just going to go inside this border. My stencil is not that big so I will need to remove it and take it away and remove it. Ugh, I think it will work. It's not what I had in mind. Maybe I will just do a layer of gold on top of this again. And maybe let this slightly peek through. Okay, I started to paint this before and then I remember, remembered I didn't put on the video. Sorry, I take, I'm taking this out, I don't like it. I'm just rather gonna keep it uh, plain. 
It uh, was too busy for me. Uh, even the pattern is still shining through a little bit at the back. I don't mind. I just want to tone it down. And if it's, I paint it out completely, it's also okay. I don't mind. think it's better I actually mixed a little bit of this uh, two malachites with together the darker one and the pearly one so now I'm just gonna leave it to dry and then I'll decide if I'm going to paint something on top of it or what am I going to do with the border I'm not sure okay please bear with me I don't like this as well so I'm just gonna put on white again I think I liked it more when the when the white was on I'm not gonna paint it entirely I'm just gonna dry brush it here and there uh, you can actually now see if usually when you see these videos everything doesn't always go to on but you know go on plan sometimes we also have trouble and struggle I think you've seen me struggle a lot today and uh, so what I would like, like to say about that is don't get discouraged we all struggle um, it's not every time that you do something that it works sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't it's one of those things and um, if you ski I struggle you can then you can feel you can also try it because I'm not the only one struggling it will help me if I know you struggle too no no I'm talking a lot of gibberish but anyways um, I'm not gonna paint it totally white I'm just gonna break the most of the green just gonna put it on a little bit stronger here and there Okay, I think it looks much better. Um, I'm more satisf satisfied with this. So uh, now I've still got this uh, aid of me to try and figure out what I'm going to do here. Um, maybe I must just extend these serviettes and just put, put a gold trim around. I think that will maybe be the best. But anyways, um, I'm just going to let it dry quickly. I'll be back. Okay, I think it's going to look much better if I maybe do the whole board with this serviette. I just want to show you here. You can see this one has got two layers. And this is the, the top layer. It's still got an imprint at the back here. Some of the, no, not all of them, some of them. So you can even um, use those later on. So I'm just going to much potch these things all around here, this four strips. And then I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to take off the edges. And then I think I'm just going to put a trim around it. I'm not sure. You s you have seen me change my mind a lot. So, yeah, please bear with, bear with me. I, I um, tend to the change as I go along.
what did I say now? I intent. I don't intend. I it usually just happens. I don't know why. I'm not going to worry about the pattern or anything. I don't think it will be visible that much. I'm just going to glue this pieces down and um, let it dry. And I must say, I will be glad when this thing is over because it gave me a lot of headaches. I don't think I will be able to finish this today because I don't have trim and I live in a very small town. I will need to go to the city. Just making sure these things are glued up to the edges. You can when this is dry, you can even uh, give it a one layer much potch over the whole thing again and varnish it when you're finished. Or you can just uh, varnish it when you're finished and uh, as I said I'm going to put a glass on top of this thing for the steam and the stuff near the kettle. But if you want to use it in your home, just to put flowers on top, maybe in a few ornaments and so on, I, it doesn't matter, then you don't need to put a gloss on top of this. There you go, everything is glued down. Just going to make sure my corners are nicely glued. Just check if everything is all right. I must say I'm ha more happy now. Um, I didn't like the screen I put around here and it started to look too busy. So as I said, I'm just going to find myself a nice gold trim put it all around there I would love if it can uh, stick out a little bit so that you keep everything in the in this um, lazy Susan when you maybe do that but anyways I'm gonna dry it now and then um, I'm just gonna take these edges off I'll, I'll show you how. I'm just gonna let it dry now and then I'll finish it later on put the trim on okay I think it's rather dry now um, I'm just going to show you how to take off this uh, serviette. I've got a piece of a, um, what do you call these things? Sanding paper. So I'm just going to go around this edge here. Actually, if you take a one, I maybe must just take one that's a little bit more. Um, I've used this one already. But you can see, you can just take it off like that. You can even tear it. It will tear as well. You see like that. And then you can just go and fiddle. But I, I just take my sandpaper and I just go around this. Um, I'm not going to do this now. I'll do that when off camera. But um, 
I know you get this metal trim in America, America and that places. We don't get this in South Africa. I would have loved to put a metal trim around here. Just overlap it a little bit, you see, like that. That it can, uh, I think it would look lovely. But um, I need to go and find something that I can put around this tray. So uh, when I found something, I will come back and I will show you how it looks in the end. Uh, and then uh, I'll see you later. Okay, this clay um, is uh, dry now around here, so I'm going to paint it black. And then I'm going to um, put a little bit of gold on top of this. So it's going to take me a while, so I will speed up the process that you don't have to watch everything. So uh, just sit back and relax.
There you go. Okay, I'm finished. Uh, it's just just needs a coat of um, varnish. I'm not going to show you that because it's just going to be a ordinary water-based varnish that I'm going to put on here, so uh, you won't be able to see it because it's going to be a mat. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe and hit that bell and you will see future uploads of my stuff that I make. Uh, if there's something that you would like me to try, I would gladly do that. Just ask me in the comments. And uh, I will see you next time.